Emir Han's new adventures, the founding of Robolab. After his success at the science fair, Emir Han caught the attention of his teachers and friends at school. His interest and talent in electronics made him a star. But Emir Han's dreams were not limited to this. He wanted to go beyond electronics and achieve bigger projects. One day, his teacher made a suggestion. Why don't you start an electronics club at school? Other students can learn and work on projects with you. Emir Han loved the idea. He immediately spoke to his friends and shared the idea of turning an empty classroom into an electronics lab. His friends were excited, and they all started working together. The club was named Robolab. Their first project was to build a robot. Emir Han and his friends gathered information about building robots from the Internet and books. They struggled at first, but didn't give up. After a few weeks of intense work, they finally built their first robot. It was a simple robot that could detect obstacles and move around them. When they got the robot working, there was great excitement in the classroom. Robolab quickly became one of the most popular clubs in school. Emir Han and his friends participated in various competitions with more complex robots, smart home systems, and electronic projects. One day, a neighboring school wanted to visit Robolab and see their projects. This visit motivated Emir Han and his friends even more. During this process, Emir Han also developed his leadership skills. Coordinating projects, ensuring teamwork, and keeping everyone motivated were significant steps for him. Thanks to the projects at Robolab, not only did his knowledge increase, but he also taught his friends a lot. He no longer felt like a child, but like a young engineer. One day, a representative from a major technology company visited their school and reviewed the work of Robolab. The representative was very impressed with Emir Han and his friends' projects and made them an offer. The company wanted to sponsor Robolab and help them realize even bigger projects. This offer thrilled Emir Han and his friends immensely. Emir Han had taken another step towards his dreams. He was now seen not just as a student, but also as a young inventor who would shape future technologies. Robolab continued to grow, achieving numerous projects. Emir Han and his friends became recognized young engineers, not only in their school, but across the country. The Adventures of Little Scientist Emir Han Once upon a time, in a small town, there lived a curious boy named Emir Han. Emir Han always tried to understand how things worked by taking apart his toys. One of the things that fascinated him the most was the wires behind the television. One day, his father brought him an old radio. Can you fix this, Emir Han? he asked. Emir Han's eyes lit up with excitement. Of course, he said. His father gave him some basic tools and a few wires. Emir Han carefully disassembled the radio and examined all the components inside. Resistors, capacitors, and transistors. They all caught Emir Han's attention. Emir Han started watching videos on electronics on the Internet, and with each passing day, he tried to repair the radio using what he learned. His father supported him throughout the process, and they decided to try new projects together. Their first project was to make a simple LED light blink. Emir Han used a breadboard to connect the LED correctly, and when he pressed the button, he was thrilled to see the LED blinking. Emir Han's interest grew day by day. He now had a small lab at home and constantly worked on new electronic projects. One day he won first place at his school's science fair with an electronic project he had created. This success further fueled Emir Han's dreams. He wanted to study electrical engineering and create his own inventions in the future. Through his hard work and dedication, Emir Han became an inspiration to those around him. This electronic adventure that began in a small town led Emir Han to great achievements.